Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today on the show, mm-hmm. we're celebrating a future time when a better art channel rises and our jobs become obsolete. Oh, what? impossible. That, no such thing. Uh, By nope. celebrating obsolete jobs from the past. Oh. oh. <laughs> The past becomes the future. Like yesterday? Even further than that. Last week? (laughs) Whoa. This suggestion comes from (laughs) Nutmeg on YouTube. They said, y'all should go to Wikipedia's list of obsolete occupations and draw what you think these jobs are by their name. And I did that, and they're incredible. (laughs) The list of jobs is so funny. I want to give them to you all so you can draw some funny stuff, and we can maybe we can all have a giggle about it. Okay. A little hee hee. A little hee hee. I'd love to laugh at the <laughs> at the past. Yeah, from the future. <laughs> from our idiots. Our glorious future that we <laughs> Look live at these in. These dumbasses. Yeah, you didn't even know that your job that you were doing would be obsolete. I bet. <laughs> You're like, I'll be doing this forever. Yeah. <laughs> like that lady whose job it was to wake people up in the morning after she would look at the town clock tower. That's a real job that existed. I don't know what it's called. Human alarm the clock, clock looker. Yeah. Clock looker. <laughs> no, that's a Yule lad. <laughs> <laughs> So Jacob, you have some some jobs for us? I want a job. Give me Nathan, a job. Nathan wants to be employed, please. Please. Nathan. Yeah. Your new job, okay, is yeah. Broom squire. Broom squire. Broom squire. <laughs> oh, broom squire. <laughs> Come broom. hither. <laughs> Come hither, broom squire. Okay. Broom squire. Broom so I know squire. Squires, they're like knights' assistants, right? Yeah, they're like little knights. They're like little knights. <laughs> they're like mini knights. That's where we got little tykes from. Yeah. Little knights. Mm hmm. That's what they evolved into. Yeah. yeah. They had little wagons. <laughs> so, like, because in the past, I imagine the messes uh-huh. that you'd have to clean up were much more. Much more intense. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of sludge for some reason. Yeah, lots of sludge. They didn't have all of the modern cleaning stuff. Like magic erasers. Like magic erasers. They would also just like fling their dookie into the road. (laughs) Yeah. They just like hurl it out the window. I feel like people still do that though, at least where we live. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, have you been on the subway? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> that's true but it's not a common it's, practice it's, it's not, not that like, unimaginable <laughs> it's not like everyone's doing it and everyone's like this is normal and we love it everybody's duking do it <laughs> are you are you slinging your shit Karina no I was just trying to get you to admit it I would never do such a thing I am hygienic <laughs> I am clean and I'm very respectable and I'm sure. very strong uh huh much like Ooh. the broom squire. I like this man's squirt little head. He's got yeah. kind of like a York proportion. Yeah. Yeah. So this isn't the this isn't the squire. Oh. This is the broom knight. Oh, of course. And so oh. he needs his broom squire. So it's like a, a golf caddy. Yeah, he but he brings the brooms. <laughs> He's got a bunch of different brooms for Give different. Give me the wide broom, please. <laughs> different purposes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey broom. Hey, broom. Hey, broom. Hey, broom. Give me the tiny little broom for getting in the crevices. Give me the hand broom. <laughs> for getting the hands. Give me the, the special one I have just for all the dookie people keep throwing into the street. My dookie broom. <laughs> My dookie broom. Ew. Well, you don't want to contaminate all your brooms. Yeah, you with need the dookie. a special dookie broom. No, I, I agree. It's just, you know, that's going to be a nasty broom. It's accompanied by just a bucket on a stick, you know, so the bucket's like sideways, so you can scoop the poop into that and then fling it (laughs) to another road. So a pooper scooper. Yeah. The original pooper scooper. That was another job title. Yeah. (laughs) But that one's not obsolete, so we're not covering it today. (laughs) His royal pooper scooper. I still have to do that every day for our cats. Oh, that's true. We're we're pooper scoopers. It's just a normal. Yeah, exactly. 
a real <laughs> job that we have. Yeah, it's a good point. I do really like the idea that there's like a holy order of knights whose job it is to Room sweep. Knights, yeah. Yeah. And like they take it very seriously. They're like, we keep the streets clean, but they mean literally clean. Yeah. yeah. They've been training for this since their birth. All they know is broom. Born with a broom in my hand. When I was but a lad, I was gifted a broom by my father. That was passed down to him by his father and his father before him. The same poop broom. The same <laughs> generations <laughs> of poop. Oh, God. My ancestor's poop is on this thing. <laughs> it's formed a hard resin on the surface, unbreakable by any known means. The broom has just gotten longer and harder <laughs> with decades of dookie. <laughs> Don't talk about things getting longer and harder. <laughs> I would like to again apologize to anyone watching Drawfee uh, using speakers. Yeah. Why would you do that? In their family's home. I don't know. At this point, why would you do that? Yeah, that's just your own problem if you do. Yeah, you should know We've better. Given you plenty of chances to stop. Is this a character in Shovel Knight? No, this is Broom. <laughs> broom is, is broom? different. Broom Knight is different. It's a different property. Yeah. It's not a knockoff of Shovel yeah. Knight. Brooms have different properties from shovels. It's Bart. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wearing his Bart t-shirt. <laughs> you got to be comfy when you, you clean in the house. Yeah. Yeah, it's his work shirt. Yeah. Oh, it's no longer Bart. It's oh, the holy it's symbol. <laughs> yeah, it was always a broom. <laughs> Respect the holy symbol. I feel like very modern broom. It's not like a it's not your witch's broom. Well, it was modern for them. I don't know. I don't know what kind of brooms were working. <laughs> not a with. criticism, just an observation. That's all. Well, this dude exists in present day. Yeah. He's cosplaying. Uh... We don't know how how long ago it became obsolete. <laughs> Yeah, it was like the end of last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they decided to turn it in. Jacob, do you have like the actual descriptions for these jobs? Of course I do. What oh. kind of host would I be? Oh. If I didn't. Well, you just you were saying nothing. Well, why would I tell you that when I want you to draw what you think they are? But he, he's already doing it. He's drawing. He's going. I don't want to give him hints and clues and tips. But I feel like Nathan's too far along to change now. He could change yeah. everything. He's wild. He's crazy. He could delete his art. You're right. Yeah. Nathan, do you want me to tell you? Yeah, tell me what a what a broom squire actually. Wow. Okay, what you ready? What a change up to the formula right in smack in the middle of the drawing. Yeah. Well, this is what Julia demanded. I'm scared. Yeah. And so I must do it. A broom squire is someone who makes besom brooms for a living. Besom brooms? What's a besom broom, you ask? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> It's a, a besom is a broom. <laughs> a besom is a broom, a household implement used for sweeping. So what? they make they make broom brooms? <laughs> they made broom brooms. <laughs> broom, 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 broom. <laughs> I want you in my broom. <laughs> <laughs> it's typically a term for traditional brooms constructed from a bundle of twigs tied to a stout pole. I made so, points, yeah. didn't I? They made brooms. Wow. In England. It's just a dude that made brooms? Just a dude that made brooms. But get this. In his 1903 ghost story, The Blood Eagle, Robert Hugh Benson hints at links between broom squires and paganism. Whoa. <laughs> so maybe there was something going any, on. Any book could claim connections between literally anything, though. Yeah. yeah. That means nothing. We do it all the time, actually. We do it all the time. <laughs> And also get this. I should argue we're doing it right now. <laughs> yeah. The Broom Squire was described by Sabine Baringold in his novel, The Broom Squire, written in 1896. <laughs> okay. Not as old as I thought it would be, but sure. 1896? That's pretty old. I thought we were like medieval. Yeah. That's sort of what I'm doing. I thought we'd be in the 1400s. No, we're eight. We're, well, maybe. You know, it happened in the 1400s, and this book was just written in 1896. Can you do more research on that, please? <laughs> no. Oh. Imagine living in a society so <laughs> small and insular that you had a dedicated broom squire. Like, you had to give someone that title. Like, you are the person that makes the brooms, and 
that's so important that we're going to call it Broom Squire. I don't know. That sounds kind of fun. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being the Broom Squire if I had to yeah. be something. No, it rules. I like. I- yeah, what would we be? We'd be the little content squires. <laughs> We'd be the village idiots. <laughs> we would definitely be like the king's four jesters, and we would come out and just start saying the yeah. dumbest shit imaginable in the middle of the town. And the king's like, have I lost touch? What is this? Is, is this, this supposed to be funny? Is this comedy? Yeah. <laughs> They're just making noises. Yeah. <laughs> They're just saying words that sound like real words but aren't. <laughs> and laughing a lot about them. Perhaps this is new age comedy. Yeah. We were born in the wrong generation. We could have been court jesters. <laughs> yep. We could have lived that life of luxury yeah. <laughs> that jesters often lived. <laughs> yeah. For a whole four months before we got killed. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Yeah, he's cute. If we could be punished for the things we said, we would definitely be. We would have been beheaded long yeah. ago. Yeah. Hey. In the comments down below, let us know what you would punish us for <laughs> no, from all the don't. things we said in the <laughs> don't, don't do this thing. Don't say it. <laughs> Just in your personal opinion, like if you were the royal head to which we jingled to. <laughs> things like mayonnaise's food lube. Yeah. There. What hot take would Jacob be? <laughs> I would say it again. It would be my last words, I would say. Nathan, the squire's so cute. Yeah, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. That's what I think of when I think of a squire. (laughs) Oh, mister, I'm just carrying so many brooms. Why do do you need all so many at once, sir? (laughs) That's why you're the squire and I'm the knight. I have so much to learn. You have so much to. Le- oh, yes, that's what I was gonna. <laughs> yeah, that's you what I was that. gonna say. <laughs> I'm learning so much, but yet I have still so much to learn. Uh, yeah, this is great. I'd be a broom squire. That's fun. That feels like fairly harmless. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty chill. Uh, this one's. This one needs to have a broom too. This one's like this kind. of. <laughs> that kind one of those time. coarse ones that gets in between the cracks. You know, he's just maybe he's dropped one or two as well. Mm-mm, that's oh, bad you can't form. do that. Yeah, yeah, sir. I'll go back and pick those up in a second. It's too late. They've been no! sullied. <laughs> Throw them out. They're they're brooms, sir. I don't <laughs> understand how they could be sullied. That's why you're a broom squire. Oh, I'm a broom I still knight. have so much to learn. <laughs> 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 I'll make I'll make this make sense, but yeah, this is this is basically it makes sense. It makes, it makes sense. sense. I it's, like it. It's cute and good. It's cute it's and good. Cute and good. All right, this is Broom Squire. Cute wow. and good. Gooding Junior. It's there. cute and gooding Junior. There we go. That's his. That's the Squire's name. <laughs> <laughs> if my jester said that to me, <laughs> oh, I swear! Ooh. I swear to God, <laughs> Ooh, I get him good. Good work, Nathan. Yay! Thank you, Nathan. Enjoy your new career as Broom Squire. Yeah. But what of me? Yes, you too must have a new career, an obsolete job brought into the present. Yes. And your job. Is Poundmaster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Poundmaster. Poundmaster. Oh, pound master. Something needs a pounding. <laughs> uh, golly. Poundmaster. That's the person that controls all the POW blocks in Mario. Yeah. That's the person that distributes those. It's the hammer guy from Kirby. Poundmaster. Poundmaster. Pound master. You want to know where my brain immediately went? Where? You know that game Whack a Mole? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's based on like a real person. Like the pound master is the one who whacked the critters. Oh, in real life, he yeah. had to whack the moles. Is that cruel? Well, the I past think it's was fun. cruel. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing is that no real moles will be harmed because this yeah. is just a fictional drawing on the internet of an obsolete job. Yeah. 
So it's all acceptable. Don't worry. It's not a real mallet. It's one of those like foam mallets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, he just hits him to give him like a warning. Yeah. Like get back in there. Learn your place. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stay underground. <laughs> don't come up here. We don't have room for you. I like that. And I like yeah. this pose. I don't know where, why that's what I was thinking. It's good. No, I like it. There's probably a pound squire too, bringing him his mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I've got so much to learn. My brain immediately went to, he's the guy at McDonald's that makes like the quarter pounders. Oh, sure. You know, he's the only one that can do that. He measures and, yeah. them. He just <laughs> he like, measures them by feel. Yeah. He's such a master, he doesn't have to weigh. Yeah, this is the guy who decided how much a pound was. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. He I'm picked up a rock friend. and he was like, yeah, that's it. They're like, He's like, that's a pound. That's and everyone's a pound. like, what, what's a, a what? pound? He's like, this. <laughs> this, it's a pound. <laughs> you could measure anything using And this. then he, s- he smacks him with it. So you feel that? That was a pound. That was a pound. <laughs> That's what a pound feels like? You got that? Okay. Thanks. Anybody disagree? <laughs> Let me explain it again. There's more pounds where that came from. That's why, you know, there's also the measurement of stone. Oh. Yeah. And then when he hits you with a stone, it becomes a pound. Yeah. <laughs> Anything can be a measurement if you just will it into existence. Yeah. That's the American yeah. way. <laughs> it's all fake. Yeah. It's all made up. Made the whole dang thing up. You ever you ever think about that and just get Yeah. Just I get do. mad. Get furious. Yeah, because I I wanted Spencer to give me his curry recipe. What? But he he said that he doesn't have measurements for it. And I was like, just make up the measurements. It's what we do. Oh. And he was like, okay, so like I can measure it in anything. All right. So you got to start with a mouthful of curry powder. And I was like, okay, <laughs> whose mouth? What's the imperial mouth? <laughs> the king's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> One king's myth. <laughs> So did you make the curry? You put no. the curry in your mouth and then spit it out into the- Yeah, yeah. like a mother bird. <laughs> yeah, put it in your mouth until your mouth is full. He's determined. This expression's so cute. Yeah, He's it is. determined. <laughs> but it seems like he doesn't really want to do it. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to hurt the mices and moles. You know why I think about this? It's because I've watched a lot of those like- um like people doing streams of like a uh, plug and play- sort of consoles where it has like all the weird bootleg games yeah and a lot of those involve like hitting mice (laughs) that's true there is one just called hitting mouses and i do like it's one of those phrases that's tainted my brain (laughs) yeah he's just hitting mices someone's got to do it someone's got to hit the mices someone's got to hit the mices if you don't hit them they're gonna think it's okay what they're doing being mices yeah what the hell yeah stop it this is Stop. human world. Yeah, this isn't mice kingdom for mices. Go back to mice kingdom if you want to be a mices. If you don't want to get pounded. If yeah. you don't want to get pounded by the pound master. Yeah, the pound master is going to hit the mices. <laughs> it's the noise segment. <laughs> There's something about this. It might be the eyebrows that's like giving me arcade cabinet art vibes. Yeah. I like this see is that. a game that you would play that, like with really cool, fun 90s art on it, and then you would go to play it, and it's just like little little sprites of him bopping some mice. <laughs> He's just hitting mices. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I that's love how it. I'll render it. Yeah. This is the new Donkey Kong. Yeah. Pound Master. Pound Master. Cute. I would play that game. Yeah. I like his hairdo. Yeah. It's, that's what your hair looks like when you're hitting the mices, when yeah. you're pounding the, the moles. <laughs> the moles. Get back underground. <laughs> Hitting the mices, pounding the moles. <laughs> Makes a man go. <laughs> Whacking the walruses. <laughs> yeah, get back in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Slapping the seals. Yeah. <laughs> you don't belong here. <laughs> the last level is aliens. Yeah. yeah. Bopping them back to Attacking space. the aliens. <laughs> yeah. Get back into space where you belong. <laughs> That's why they don't come back. <laughs> the pound master <laughs> scared them off. Kicked them out. 
You got to maintain yeah. the natural order of things. But then I wept, for there were no things left to pound. <laughs> That's what made the job obsolete. Yeah. Yeah. Everything got pounded. Yeah. He put everything back where they belong, and now he, the world he's is just perfect. retired. Yeah. As it should be. I like his fur boots. Yeah. Got the whole club looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a guess as to what this job actually was? Yeah. Yes, you may. Was this about money? No. Really? Is it about an animals? Yeah, is it about a it pound? It is about animals. It's like weight weight of meat at the market? No. Or something? Like how it's, much you rely on Is it have? about the pound? Like the dog pound? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you fools. You dullards. So what is it? <laughs> what is okay. it? A pound master was a local government official responsible for the feeding and care of stray livestock, such as domestic pigs, cattle, horses, sheep, and geese. What? Oh, interesting. Why was he called Pound? Unlike today, the control of stray companion animals was not the duty of the Pound master. So if there's a dog or a cat, he doesn't even see them. No. <laughs> He's looking for livestock. <laughs> he got to make sure the livestock is fed. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good for him. Mine's hits animals. <laughs> <laughs> takes care of them in a different way. In like a mob, yeah, like I'll take, I'll care, take of care of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You'll be swimming with the fishes, fish. Try to get on land. <laughs> you idiot. that's where you're supposed to be. That's yeah, where that's you're where supposed you to be. <laughs> get back like in whale, there. A whale comes up on shore and he hits it back and the whale splashes into the water and there's this big thank you that appears. <laughs> thank you, pound master. So apparently they did also impound the livestock uh, that were loose in the city and the animals were brought to the pound okay. where they could then be reclaimed. Interesting. Wow. But it wasn't a dog pound. It was a all animals pound except for dogs. Yes, no dogs. <laughs> you could not put a dog in the pound. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, no. Don't pound me, mister. <laughs> Don't pound me, mister. I love his old nose. I like that he's not leaving. <laughs> I was just up for a peek. <laughs> I was just taking a little look-see. Just no wanted peeking. to see what was going on. No look-sees. <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> We're doing people pound. stuff up here. <laughs> you don't want no part of this. Yeah. You'll thank me for this someday, <laughs> driving you away from this society. <laughs> You're better off down below. <laughs> he just stands in a field. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a fence. <laughs> this is my pounding field <laughs> where I pound the, the animals so that they know, they know <laughs> not to come here. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I have a lot of affection for the pound master. I do too. He's grown on me. Here's the little alien that he's going to pound in the future. It's foreshadowing. He's like, I'll get to you. Yeah. I just got to take care of this guy first. Just you wait. He's looking down here like, oh my God, what the hell? All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the aliens all so cute. Everything he has to pound is so cute. Yeah, it's just like in Dig Dug where everything's kind of cute and then you just blow them up. Yeah, yeah, until they explode. I don't know why my point of reference for arcade games is Dig Dug, but it Dig is a good one. Rules. Dig Dug? Awesome. It's fun. Comment down below your favorite Dick Dug character. <laughs> I don't like the little fire breathing little lizard shits. Wow. Taste. I'll tell you that. Or lack thereof. Because <laughs> you dig in their tunnel and they shoot a thing at you. It's no good. But I guess in Dig Dug, you're underground where yeah. you shouldn't be. Yeah, this is correct Dig Dug. Yeah. Where you're where you need to be and it's everyone else causing you problems. By trying to join human society. You idiots, don't come here. <laughs> Do not. That's why he looks so determined because he he's he knows it's like, He's being kind of mean, but he is doing a kindness. Yeah. Yeah, it's a necessary job. He sees yeah. where human society's heading, and he's like, you don't want to be part of this. Yeah. Tr trust me. Trust me. It's for your own good. <laughs> it's for your own good, little guy. All right. Here's the pound master. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Great work. Thanks. Let's get a Julia. It's a me. Julia. Yeah. 
This one, when I read it, I immediately it screamed you to okay. me. <laughs> okay. Julia, and also it's kind of funny. Your obsolete job is useful man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we Am love I a useful right? man. <laughs> no more Not ladies. anymore, baby. 2022, <laughs> no useful man. No, it's obsolete, useful yeah. men. Wow. So that's why I can't find one. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, useful man was a job title useful that you could be. Useful man. And uh, and no longer can you be one. There he Aww. is. Look at look at useful man. He's gonna help. He's just a guy. It's just a little guy. It's just a useful man. He's so useful. He looks so proud. He's happy to be useful. He's like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'm a useful man. Look, Mama, I have use. What you need, buddy? <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> oh, I've got ever so many uses. Why I can reach things. Open stuff, close stuff. I can do this. I can do that. <laughs> a little bit of this thing. Hua, ho, ta cha. Hey. hey. <laughs> and finally, this. Whoop. Oh. Whoa. But I need to take a rest after I do that. I won't be useful for a few moments. <laughs> but then I'll go right back to being useful again. Trust me on that one. Julia's gone silent mode. I just. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a. It's a cute prompt. Yeah, it's a cute prompt and a nice fantasy. A useful man. A useful man. <sighs> Can you imagine? <laughs> no. Uh, hey, hey, men. I'm joking. Please don't call me a bitch. Why thanks. Karina should be canceled? <laughs> <laughs> she called me useless and she doesn't even know me. It's a funny haha. Thanks. Um. Keep on keeping on, dudes. <laughs> You're doing hey, great. Hey, Karina, bad news. You activated uh -oh. my trap card. <laughs> and then yeah. I just flip a card over that says, not all men. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to the shadow realm. Yeah. If you're going to complain at me, you got to complain at all of us. Hey. <laughs> complain at me first. <laughs> I can take it. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, men are useful? <laughs> Name five. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. Oh, dang it. <laughs> she got me. Okay, my five are Mike, Michael, Mike, and Mike. And Mike, there's a lot of Mike. That's just your brother. Yeah. That's that's going to be five. <laughs> we got to know five useful You said Mikes. Mike twice, so that doesn't count. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, there's Mike and Green Mike. Yeah, Green Mike, Big Mike. Little Mike. Jersey Mike. Ever heard of Jersey Mike? He's useful. <laughs> Ever heard of Michael Mouse? Yeah. He's useful. Yeah. He's, he's useful. We'll give him that. <laughs> this Aww. looks like um, Ten this Ten is... got fired. <laughs> From what? <laughs> and it's his last day at the office. Clear out your desk, Ten Ten. <laughs> it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> That's why he looks happy. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, sure, whatever, Tintin. <laughs> Tintin, get all your carrots and get out of here. Get all your produce. <laughs> That's what he kept at his desk. <laughs> that was also me when I had to clean out my desk. <laughs> like, yeah, ah, damn the snack it. drawer. <laughs> Everybody had a little horde of snacks. Yeah. Oh, well, because yeah. you never knew when they got the good snacks if they would yeah. be there the next day. So you had to Whenever grab them all. Whenever they got the stupid little dark chocolate sea salt kind bars, I took all of them. That shit's expensive <laughs> and I wanted it. Yeah. And you deserved it. Yeah. I just had so much Chex Mix at my desk. <laughs> they should have called it Desk Mix at that point. Oh, got him. I was thinking Dex mix. I was thinking about saying something like that, Jacob. Oh, were you? I'm glad you did. We're a couple <laughs> yeah, of useful cause... men, huh? <laughs> I yeah. wasn't sure if I should say it, but you said it. Here's a little cheat sheet for your list of five useful men. You can put Jacob and Nathan. Yeah. Oh, thank but you. good luck coming up with three others. Hey, got him. <laughs> Caldwell, 
Okay, um, you're on thin ice, but all right. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> hey, man, still a joke. <laughs> what about when Julia does like a gruff man voice? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll count. Does that, that, that count? That counts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah our ca- characters. Yeah. Any any characters? York. Count York. <laughs> York, <laughs> York is number five. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I love this Steppy. Yeah, he's going. He's just happy to be going. I think like once Spencer gives me that curry recipe, then he can be on the list. Oh, then it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's over for all of you. I'm gonna have so much curry powder in my mouth. <laughs> It'll be like the cinnamon challenge all yeah. over yeah. my house. <laughs> Every ingredient is measured in mouthfuls. Yeah. Is he walking past the pounding fields? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, pound master. <laughs> Need any help with anything? Pound master's in the back here. <laughs> just, just sweating. Yeah, same stance. <laughs> He's like, <sighs> I have to hit one more. <laughs> but it's for their own good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good person. I'm a good person. <laughs> so... My guess was that he just was kind of like the village helpful, like if someone needed help move in. Moving their carrots. Yeah, moving their carrots or. <laughs> like a very small amount of carrots. <laughs> yeah, but this old woman over here can't move her carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And you need a useful man sometimes to come along and move your carrots. I wish someone would move my carrots. Yeah, me too. But I got to do it myself. Disgusting. Yeah. Society really went downhill when we lost the useful man. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why we made him obsolete, but feminist destroyed useful man. Useful Explanation man number dead. one. Chivalry died, so useful men weren't allowed to be around. <laughs> Damn, she's got a point. We wow. ousted them from society completely. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shit. Darn. Dang. Damn it. Oh, oh. As it turns out, women did this. <laughs> women did this. Women women are what's wrong with everything. Yeah. So what um what what what, what is this actually? A useful man? Yeah. I would love to, honestly. A useful man is a male domestic worker ranking below a footman. But above a hall boy, <laughs> a, like a domestic a, a hall, worker, like a hallway. And boy? we got a little more details here. Oh. Please, I'd like, I'd like to know about the hall boy, please. This is important. <laughs> this is important. Before we get to that, you have to okay. remember this. Unlike the footman, the useful man never enters the dining room. Mm. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Stay out or, of the dining room where you belong. <laughs> or waits personally on the master of the house. But not when he's in the dining room. He doesn't do either of those things. He can't Ever. enter the dining room and he does not wait personally on the master of the house. Oh, I see. What'd he do? Everything else. what that man do? He waits very impersonally on the master okay. of the house. Yeah. I like that. No direct contact. This old woman is me with my useful man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you carry those carrots, little guy. Do you want to know about the hall boy? Yes, yes. please. The hall boy was a position held by a young male domestic worker on the staff of a great house, usually a young teenager. The name derives from the fact that the hall boy usually slept in the servant's hall. All right. So that's just okay. a boy in a hall. All right. Do footman next. The footman <laughs> tended to the feet of royalty. Wait, really? No. Okay. A footman is a male domestic worker employed mainly to wait at table or attend a coach or carriage. Ah, uh, okay. So he's the one doing the, the dining business. Yeah, yeah, doing the stuff that the useful man is not allowed to do. Yeah. Don't let the useful man in the dining room. <laughs> Look, he's useful, but he's not that useful. So don't let him get cocky. <laughs> he tries to be too useful. He's like, oh, can I lift your spoon for you? Can I, do you want me to hold your bowl close to your face? Yeah, he like, <laughs> Passes the threshold where you can tell he's just trying way too hard and it's like kind of putting you off. Yeah. That's why you yeah. don't want the useful man in the dining room. Yeah. 
I just want them out in the fields carrying my carrots while I am old and gray and I go, hmm. hmm. That's what this lady is doing because she's me. Yeah, she's all of us. <laughs> oh, he's doing a little death stranding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, useful man becomes a job again in the future after death yeah. stranding happens. <laughs> Sam Porter Bridges is the only useful man. <laughs> This is cute, Julia. Thank yeah. you. I like it. Thank you. I love the useful man. This is him. This is he. This is he. He is here. He is here. Wow. And if you watching want to be a useful man, you can do so by clicking like and subscribe on the video. Can I just point out that we've we've got a drawing of someone carrying stuff a drawing of someone holding a sort of something in like a weapon pose, and then my drawing's a little bit of both. Wow. wow. Nathan, it you're right. It all comes full circle. Beautiful how, symmetry. How useful of you to tell us that. That's the, that's, I'm the useful man in, <laughs> right now. I interrupted the, the closing <laughs> to point out. But it was worth it. Yes. Yeah. What, what's also worth it is the money you can spend on our Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. To get bonus content and help support the channel. And we'll be your useful men. Yeah. On Twitch. On, on Twitch. Twitch. Monday nights. Tune in to watch us pound <laughs> drawings. Drawings. Out yeah. live <laughs> for <Wow>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> And we have merch also. We're sorry. Sorry. Br broom. Sorry. Sorry. We don't talk about Brumo.